What's up Tesla Model 3 owners? Did you just buy a 2024 or newer Tesla Model 3 and want to add some functionality, a tow hitch, a torque lift tow hitch to your Tesla? Well, we're about to do that today. First thing you're gonna want to do, open up the trunk. Then check these guys out. These bolts are holding in these plastic pieces and you're just gonna want to undo them. Now this operation is for both sides. Once you get it unscrewed, you're gonna to wanna to use your fingers on the outer edge and kind of pry up. Now it's being held in three main different places. So on the bottom, there are these two forks right here that go into the car. And then there's one up here. And this basically puts it into the car. So you're just gonna pull those out. You can see one, two, and then three. And you get access to this bolt right here. Next, we're gonna grab a 10 millimeter and remove the bolts that we found. All right, guys, so we're under the car now. Underneath here, this is your quick access panel, this little rectangular bit. And you're just going to want to use a screwdriver to go into here. You can see it's a flat head, and you're basically going to twist these, and you're going to pull this down and off. That's pretty much it for that. Next, you see these two tabs right here? You're gonna to wanna to use that same flat head, pull them down, and it'll reveal a 10 millimeter bolt underneath there. Boom, quick access panel removed. These little tabbers reveal 10 mil. There's one on that side. And of course, what happens to one side has to happen to the other side. So go ahead and remove these. Still underneath the bumper, we're gonna look this way. All right, under the car, there's three bolts on the side. So right here, 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 here. All right, ready guys, I'm gonna flip you up. This way, one, two, three. Three bolts on each side, remove those. And they'll look like these three right here. But don't get out of from under the car yet because there's still one more. If you're on the driver's side, it's to the right. If you're on the passenger side, it's to the left. Okay, so we have the car here. I'm about to flip you guys over. All right, ready? Let's get under this car. So remember, we're on the driver's side, so the three bolts are right here. And then if we do some investigating, ah, there we go. It's a little bit inset right here. You're gonna want to remove that one. Again, that is on both sides as well. I have a task for you. It's a bit farther under the car. We're about to go underneath it and remove two more bolts. One bolt per side, so that's good. It's going to be a little bit farther than the last one I showed you. All right, so under the car with me. Remember the, where was that? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Ah, there we are. This is the last bolt, right? So I just went, <laughs> last bolt is right here. Now the actual last bolt, Osmo. I'm underneath here. Okay, so we're gonna go to the very middle underside of the car and it's gonna be those bolts, okay? Remove the bolts that are in the very middle underside. Don't get it confused with the ones next to it. Those are for your wheel struts or whatever. All right, let's get the heck out of here so my friend can pull this bumper off. I'm going under, down under. Ah. Okay. Wait, does the bumper go up anymore? I, like, I can't fit. Oh, there we go. All right, y'all. So the drill's too big to get underneath here. So we gotta hand untighten it. Oh, I just kissed under Mel's car. <laughs> Back out in the clean space, we have the side of the car that we're gonna touch one more time, but we don't have to go too far. This is the wheel well. It's gonna be on both sides and check this out. There's going to be a little pin right here. You're just gonna wanna remove that at the bottom and it should look like this. This is pretty common, pretty standard. You can use a flathead screwdriver, pop this out on one of the edges, and then just pull it out. From there, you know, all you're gonna wanna do is look up. And once you look up, there's this bit right here. It is also a T20, just like earlier. So I'm going to put our T20 bit in, righty tighty. Left is Lucy. So we're just gonna want to loosen her all the way out. She's coming out. All right, she has come out and this is exactly what she looks like. There you go. And we're a T20 bit, guys. I would just pull this off. Yeah. Wait, you did? Okay. All the clips here. Oh, this is important to remember the orientation of the metal piece. So there's a little nub that faces upwards. 
and it clips on to this bracket that's coming off. Police, the bumper! Now on the passenger side of the car, we're gonna go underneath, kind, not kind of underneath, underneath to the side. Basically right here, this area, you're gonna want to look underneath it and you see this wire right here that's being pulled a little bit. Yeah, we don't want it to be pulled. So we need to take a flathead. We need to unclip this red clip or just use your hand. My hand worked better. You put your screwdriver in the hole, your flathead in this hole right here. Once the flathead is in the hole, you're gonna want to press up and push it out. So up, yeah. Yeah, like that. There you go, up and out. We did it. There's actually a wiring harness on the driver's side as well. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different plug. This one right here, unplug this guy, that guy, that guy. All right, bumper, come to me. On the right side and the left side, there are these plastic bumper brackets and we're gonna want to go ahead and remove them. They will not be reinstalled, so you can just throw them in the trash. Oh, simple, bye. Now that we've got the bumper off, it just needs to be to like right here. We're gonna want to go ahead and remove this whole wiring harness, this black part right above the crash bar. Go ahead and start unscrewing. A super easy place to put this is in your trunk. The bolts and the wiring harness when we pull it off. All right, now get to, get to remove your wiring harness. Oh yeah, it's removed. There we go, good enough, good enough. Be careful guys, because there's this wire that's coming down, so just, just rest her right there. She's good right there. We're gonna take a 15 mil on this drill and see if we can remove these bolts. If not, we have a torque wrench here. You're gonna need a torque wrench either way because at the end when we tighten this bad boy down, you're gonna wanna tighten it to the specification required, especially if you're actually towing. So let's go ahead and remove these or see if the drill can do it. All right, DeWalt, can you do it? Nice, good job. DeWalt! So we're just taking these nuts off on each side. Three nuts. The car has three nuts per side. Get in there, DeWalt. Do your thing, girl! Okay, maybe not. We're switching tools. We got the right one, theoretically, for the job. All right, let's see if we can... Oh yeah, I think this one's gonna get it, guys. All right, leave it in the comments below right now. Can we do it? Ready? Oh wait, I'm tightening it. All right, loosening it. Oh, nice, good job, little DeWalt. The little DeWalt that could. These are the bolts. So then we have one up here, and then we have the two down here. And again, we're just doing that on each side. Crash bar has been pulled off. Next step is to take the washers that are included in the kit, and you're gonna want to put them on all of the bolts that are coming out of your subframe. Boom, boom, and boom. There we go. All right guys, the hitch is on. Look at that, eco hitch, made in the USA, torque lift. Good stuff guys, they make towing stuff for all vehicles, not just Teslas, so make sure you check them out because they're pretty interesting. It's time to put the nuts back on. You're definitely gonna want to use a torque wrench, but we can start it off with the hammer drill. Technically, you could start by hand tightening it first, then go to the hammer drill, then go to the, and then go to the torque wrench. Checking Tesla's website for bumper beam rear. I'll have this in the description below the like button. You hear that sound? That means we are at the max torque, which is 60. So we set our torque wrench to 60 Newton meters or 44.2 foot pounds of torque. Find the socket and boom. Remember this piece right here and all the 10 mils we put in the trunk? We're just gonna take it and start reinstalling it on the top on each side. There are these clips, so you can push these clips in to hold it in place temporarily. While you get your 10 mils, you can start hand tightening it, and then you're going to want to use either a wrench or a drill and push these bad boys in. All right, so on this side, find it and push it together. Make sure it clicks and then push that red tab in. On the driver's side, we have this guy and it's just gonna plug into this module and then make sure that clip clicks in. Super good, all right. <sighs> Guys, that was painful. Please have patience. To put the bumper back on, the first thing you're gonna want to do is align the bottom. It's super hard and it's super long. You're gonna have to pull up on the front skid plate 
then you're gonna also have to push this in while pushing this up. It's a whole lot of headache. If you have headache with it, I'm here with you. But secure those two bottom bolts first. Trust me, that's the first thing you're gonna wanna do. Hey y'all, editing Brandon here. So I forgot to mention this part, but remember to also bolt in all the bolts, the other bolts that are on the bottom of the car. So if this is the bottom of the car and the front of the car is facing this way, remember the two bolts that we, that they're super hard, right? Have patience bolts. Those are the farthest one that's up. From there, you're gonna have the three bolts on each of the sides. You're gonna have the two bolts kind of next to it. And then the two bolts that are, or were next to the access panel because now you don't really have an access panel anymore. So again, remember, 12 bolts total two farthest ones that were a pain in the butt make sure you have patience on those and then from there you have the three on each side two next to it and then two at the very bottom good luck let me know in the comments if you need any help i would come up here start bolting these guys in so bolt here and another 10 mil bolt here and that's just so we can hold this more in place while we go around and do the rest of the car so i noticed that some of the plastic on the side that's supposed to clip in was a little bit bent in and it was preventing the whole thing from going in so all you got to do is take a flat head and gently push it out remember it's plastic so you don't want to be too heavy with it because it could break so just gently push it out and then make sure it's out enough to where it can clip in there we go all right clips are in All right, let's smack that boy into place. You hear those other clicks? Here, let me show you what that's from. That's this middle part going back into place. So for this bumper, I'm gonna have to push it in more, but, ah, oh, yeah, there you go. You see those black tabs? They need to be going over this white part right here. There you go. Black tabs need to go over here. 10 mil is gonna hold it down, and then these are gonna grip over it. My friend, what he was doing was pushing this back in. It sits on these little tabs. You're basically just gonna go along the whole thing, pushing it back into those little tabs. We got this panel all aligned. Now we gotta push this in and secure our T20 bolt up in here into this piece going up. Once that's in, make sure to put back any clips that you removed inside of the wheel well. That way you're holding the wheel well together. Also make sure you push the wheel well liner inside of the uh, bumper. Click and we're in. Nice and snug. That's exactly how it should look like. See our panel lines are nice and factory. Panel lines are nice and factory on the other side. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and put this back on for both sides. Let's grab homeboy right here. One of our tabs broke off, but it'll be fine when we align it. You're basically just gonna want to put it in from the bottom and then make sure it fits underneath your weather stripping. And then it should just sit in like that. Make sure it's also underneath your charge port as well. Now you gotta secure homeboy in. So you're just gonna want to screw this, take your T20 and just like a pencil, just do, I don't know. Okay, no one does this with a pencil, but it is just gonna screw in like that. There you go. You don't wanna make it too tight. Just hand tightening it is good enough. It's all perfect, just like you. And if you're perfect, make sure to leave a like and maybe consider subscribing for more cool Tesla stuff. We're at Home Depot, y'all. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. All right, y'all, we're back and we're about to see if it was a 24 mil. Last tow hitch I installed on my Tesla, this cutie right here, it was a 24. So we're about to see if it's the same on the new Model 3s. Look at this boy. This is our tow hitch. Get familiar with this guy because this is what you're gonna be shoving things into. And then you're pretty much done, guys. So you now have a two inch tow hitch on your Tesla Model 3, the new 2024 Highland upgraded edition. If you wanna see me install a tow hitch on an older Tesla, don't worry, you're, you're not left out. I have that too, check it out on the channel. I'll try to link it in the description below. So if you have an older Tesla, you can have a tow hitch as well.
talking about this bolt, guys. This right here, okay? It's just free spinning. So when I put the drill in, right, and I go to unscrew it, look, the whole thing just spins. Yeah, look, you can see the drill and it's spinning. That's on the driver's side. So the side that's not stripped, where, what do you look like? Yeah, see that is on the car and that is just fine. That's not good because pretty sure that is to the subframe of the Tesla. You want to make a service report on this though? I would at least, so you have it documented. Holy crap. All right guys, so on the right side, you see that? Yeah, it looks strong in there. You know what's not strong? Our flipping left side. All right, you see that? No hole there? That's because it's right here, in my hand. Sheared off. Oh, Tesla. Dude, they must have over tightened it from the factory or something, because it's supposed to be in here, and it just completely comes off. 